So you decided it was time for a change and you landed on Kansas. Well, that's perfect because in this video today, we're gonna go over the best place to live in Kansas. What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. K-State grad turned contractor, turned real estate agent and investor. First off, thank you so much for checking out our channel. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it helps us out with our channel. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Today in this video, I am sorry if you jumped in here to see the different cities and things in, or in Kansas. And the main reason is because Manhattan's the best place that you need to be. So that's where we're gonna go at. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Full disclosure on all this stuff, I'm a Manhattanite, I live in Manhattan, I love Manhattan, I've been here for 16 plus years, and it is a phenomenal town. So, today I'm sorry if you thought you were going to talk about Wichita or Salina or Topeka or Kansas City, whatever it may be, I'm sorry to tell you, today's about Manhattan, Kansas, baby. <laughs> so, let's go and jump right into it. First off, the number one thing on my list today of why I would say come to Kansas and or Manhattan, Kansas, is for the cost of living. If you compare Manhattan to, if you compare Kansas to LA, compare Kansas to San Francisco, compare Kansas to New York City, I don't care where it is, any major city that you may be coming from, your cost of living is going to be incredibly lower for the cost of the housing, the cost of what a gallon of milk is, the cost of a loaf of bread, the cost of it, whatever it is, cost of transportation, it is going to be considerably less. Yes, I challenge you to go look for a $200,000 house in Manhattan, Kansas, and compare it to what you get for $200,000 in, let's say LA, or even better yet, take a $500,000 house and compare it to what you get in LA, versus what you get here in Manhattan, Kansas. I guarantee you, you will be ecstatic with what you will get. $500,000 here in Manhattan is going to get you a four or five bedroom house that's probably around 3,500 to 4,000 square feet plus. So be checking out that one. Cost of living is my first one on the list of what I would suggest or why I love Manhattan and why you should be coming to Manhattan when you live and you are moving to Kansas. Next one on my list is going to be weather. Again, this is, if you've checked out any of my other videos or if you have any questions about that one, get, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, give me an email, whatever you have. I've been getting a lot of people that are reaching out to me because you're coming to Kansas or coming to Manhattan. That is totally fine, I want you to ask questions, but weather is a big one for me. I personally, I've lived here in Kansas pretty much my entire life. I grew up in Missouri for a little bit of time, but I will tell you that the uh, one of the best things that I enjoy are the four seasons that Kansas gives you. Now, mind you, this year, uh, we went straight from pretty much cold to hot. We went, and in a matter of a week, we went from 40s, 50s to 90s. So that kind of sucks, but here's what I'll tell you guys, is Kansas keeps it real. We continue to have a different time or a different, uh, different weather changes and everything in a matter of days. There was a time last year, a year or two ago, where we had, no joke, we had a 70 degree swing of temperature. It went from negative 20 to 70 degrees in a matter of two days or something like that. It was crazy. But that's fine, I'll take those swings. I enjoy that kind of stuff because it's different. It's not always beach weather, which is nice, don't get me wrong, where it's 70, 80 degrees year round and it's not either hot or cold year round there's no we have spring we have fall and those are some of the best times to be here in kansas and in the manhattan area as well so i definitely would say check those out and or be ready for the weather changes and be ready for that kind of stuff just to that's one of my favorite things about kansas is that you do have a lot of that opportunity for those changes and things like that third thing on my list today is sports yes i do love sports i am a sports fanatic i love Football. I love the baseball. I love, I said the baseball. I love football. I love baseball. I love just going and enjoying a good uh, professional sports team or even a college sports team. Here's the beauty of it is local to Manhattan within a two hour radius, you've got K-State sports. So it could be uh, volleyball. It could be football. It could be basketball. It could be baseball. Literally, my family and I went out to the baseball game just a week ago. 
uh, and enjoyed it. And it was a good game and we enjoyed being there with friends and being there and having the, the hot dogs and, and the, the ball uh, ballpark food and things like that. So we have that there. Uh, local to Manhattan is Kansas State University. Uh, the next one is within an hour, you've got Lawrence, which is KU. Granted, not a KU fan, but it is there if you are a KU fan. They've got, obviously they've been very good at basketball for many, many, many years. Uh, and obviously is also the birthplace of basketball. So. Uh, so you've got K-State, you've got KU, um, down in Wichita, you've got Wichita State, which is another really, they're usually really good at baseball and they've been pretty good at basketball in years past. Uh, then go to Kansas City, which is only two hours away, and you've got the Kansas City Chiefs, you've got the Kansas City Royals. You are very close to any sports team that you may want. And I'll also tell you, I know there's a lot of um, uh, farm leagues or farm teams as far as like there's a football team in Salina there's a lot of those smaller like they're kind of keeping the teams and, and growing those minor league uh, minor league stuff here locally as well so sports is a big one for me I enjoy it you've got anything and everything you want uh, that you could probably want here in the area leading right into that my next one on my list is proximity to everything i just told you you are two hours away from wichita you're an hour away from salina you are an hour away from lawrence you're two hours away from uh two hours away from kansas city you are i know it may seem like a lot but you're only six hours seven hours away from denver depending on how you're driving you know you've got everything that you need right here including all of that kind of stuff you've got the manhattan airport you've got the manhattan zoo you've got manhattan has everything that you probably need unless you want some bigger stores or bigger shopping and things like that i mean we have a target we have a marshall's we have a dillard's all local to manhattan but if you don't like what you're seeing here you want a better shopping experience go to kansas city my wife and i just spent a weekend there in kansas city and we enjoyed you know going down to the plaza and we walked around, had some had some drinks on the patio, enjoyed a, a good uh, good lunch that day, and had some walking around and did some shopping, some stuff that way. So, go out, do those things. You are very close to everything. And the beauty of Manhattan Airport is it flies to Chicago, it flies to Dallas. And where can you get from Chicago or Dallas? Literally anywhere. Those are two of the biggest hubs. You just hop on an American Airlines flight and you hop out and you're going wherever you want to in the entire world. Or you drive two hours and go to uh, go to Kansas City and you can jump on literally an international airport. You can go anywhere you want from Kansas City as well. So that's one of my beauties of this one is the proximity to everything. Next one on my list is probably one of my favorite. And if you've watched my videos, you understand or know kind of what I'm talking about is you get the small town feel of Manhattan, Kansas with the big city amenities. Again, like I just told you, you have uh, the, the D1 college sports. You've got the professional sports if you want it to be, or as far as the Chiefs and the Royals and things that way within very close proximity. You've got any shopping that you may need, whether it's groceries or uh, clothes shopping or um, literally whatever you want and need, we'll probably have it. And again, our town, our small town of 55,000 people, we're growing. We're growing. Just recently, we've picked up close to a billion dollars worth of construction work that's going on with the National Bioagro Defense Facility, MBAF, as some people call it. And there's a lot of subsidiary companies and stuff coming. There was a big project with, uh, um, I think it was Scorpion was the name of the company, but we are they're building a project or building a plant here that's going to be about $650 million. And then we're continuing to add businesses and, and stuff that way that is going to continue to make our little city become pretty good and pretty uh, influential city here in the United States. So be on the lookout for that. Probably one of the things that I enjoy the most about Manhattan is all the outdoor activities. If you, again, if you've watched my other videos, you've got the Kanza, you've got the hiking trails, the biking trails, you've got rivers, you've got lakes, you've got kayaking on the rivers. You're able to go boating out at Tuttle Creek Lake. You're able to go boating at Milford Lake, which is just in Junction City, which is about 45 minutes away and which Milford is the biggest lake in Kansas. So we are very, very close to everything. Small known lake in, in Kansas that one is my favorite is probably Wilson Lake. So that's also a phenomenal place that you can be checking out as well. So 
a lot of that stuff, and again, you're close to all of that, and most of that is within an hour of Manhattan. Wilson Lake's not, but you're still very close that you can go camping, you can go boating, you can do all of those things and still be close to home, meaning Manhattan, and still be able to do a lot of that stuff. So that's a lot of what I enjoy. Now, again, we don't have the mountains, we don't have those, those types of activities and things that way, but I just told you, you're very close to Manhattan, or sorry, you're very close to Denver and you're very close to the mountains if you want it to be. It's less than a day's drive to go up there and get to the mountains. I've done it many times to go take a long weekend to go snowboarding or something like that. Enjoy it and it's great. You know, I don't do it enough, but kids will do that to you. Last one on my list of why I love Manhattan is Fort Riley. One of the things that I love about Manhattan is that you do have that proximity to the base. Army ba the Army base is one of the largest Army bases in all of the United States, uh, as far as proximity, or not, sorry, not proximity, but as far as land layout goes. So Fort Riley is a really wonderful place, and we as a community have rallied around our troops and make sure that we continue to have good relationships with military personnel and making sure that one is. I've got a lot of excellent clients and wonderful friends that are military personnel. Unfortunately, they always end up PCSing every now and again, but that's all right, because probably one of the reasons you're watching this video is because you're coming to Manhattan too. So we love Fort Riley here in Manhattan. I definitely have a lot of clientele that we work with and helping out quite a bit to make sure we find a good house, whether it's a investment property for you and your family, whether it's a investment property for just you, whether it's a single family home that you're looking to move your family into. We have a lot of excellent neighborhoods, a lot of excellent things that we are able to do and we do that because Fort Riley continues to be a thriving business or a thriving place for us to be and have people coming in and coming and going as far as that goes. So that's the last thing on my list is Fort Riley. So I do appreciate you guys checking out the channel. If you have any questions, please, please, please reach out to me. I'm here to help. I wanna make sure that you're taken care of. So shoot me a text, give me an email, give me a call. I don't care what it is, get a hold of me. My number is 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. You can also check out the website, which is homesforsalemhk.com. But check all those out, guys, and get a hold of me. I really, really don't mind. I literally, this, this week, I had a bunch of people asking me questions about Manhattan and housing and all kinds of stuff that they've got questions on. Ask. I cannot tell you enough. Ask. I'm here to help. So. If you guys like the video, please go ahead and go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that like button and give it and go ahead and hit that bell just because it helps out with everything as well. So until next time, I appreciate you checking out the video. We'll see you then.